Hey everybody, welcome back to the Moto Vlogs. Today, we're here at my cottage and we last came off of this trail. We went into an abandoned gravel mine. It was sick, it was sweet, but now we're going to check out an abandoned beach. This beach is abandoned, should be lots of fun. Uh, I feel a little bit of rain, but humans are waterproof and so is my new GoPro Hero 5s. So a little bit of rain ain't gonna stop me. Um, a lot of rain may, but a little rain is fine. I'm gonna do this vlog just, just in case. I, uh, I really don't know what the weather holds for the rest of my trip up here at my cottage with my bike, which is, this might be the very last stretch of me riding my bike till next year. So on the off chance of a little bit of rain, I'm not gonna put it away, but that also being said, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I don't know what the weather holds for tomorrow, so if the weather is entirely pouring rain tomorrow, this ain't so bad. Got a little bit of fogging in my mask. All right, so we actually do not have to go too far from the gravel mine to get to the beach. Well, we do, but this is the exit road. Oh, okay. And we're off. I've uh, never rode a motorcycle in heavy rain. Oh, that's a lie, that's a lie. My MSF course was raining really hard, but that was going 20 kilometers an hour in a parking lot. This is different, and I have never rode in rain, heavy rain, on these kind of conditions. In fact, this is the first time my bike has been on crazy conditions. This is the first time my bike has been to the cottage, and it is what I consider its christening as I mentioned in the last video. Because I've tried, guys. I've tried finding trails and stuff to ride back in K Kingston, but that is a suburban town. It's just a regular suburban town, so how many trails do you think there are? Here, in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing. I mean, there's everything. That's what I meant. There's everything to ride around here. No shortage of trails. And that's why, if I had tons of time up here, I would always be riding and doing so many more moto vlogs because I'm more into um, adventure moto vlogs like this than me on the street talking about what I had for dinner. Because we got the regular vlogs for that. All right, time to put the visor up. If you guys remember some of those first times I ever took a dirt bike off-road, I found some mud and I wasn't keeping my weight on the back of my seat so I totally slid right off but this time this is gonna be different I know there for years I've rode these uh, I've taken my car through this and uh, ATVs countless times but I happen to know yeah, that there is mud all the way down this trail which is fun it's considering I know how to ride it now which I didn't before and I'm learning and I mentioned this in the last video but if I'm not riding the way you would well that's because I'm a noob to um, riding trails with a with a dirt bike especially because these are car slash ATV trails so if I'm not riding the way you want me to too bad also I don't know if there's been a vlog where I haven't asked this but what is the length that you'd like to see out of a moto vlog. I guess they're all different, you know? If I'm riding on the streets, maybe a little shorter. If I'm doing stuff like this, a little longer, because we're more, we're in a deeper situation here. So it, it, it really all depends. And I really never know how long these are gonna be until I'm editing. This one looks kind of gnarly. But it was no problem for the new WR250R. Also, last time I went, I haven't really been trail riding since I got these new tires because my bike was in a shop for a month this summer, which is kind of why I'm making up for it now, riding when it's so dang cold. But yeah, my bike was in the shop for like a month out of the summer. So uh, getting new tires and performance parts and whatnot, the only thing I have to, 
to do in the foreseeable future is change the blinkers on the bike because that's like the only stock ugly bit that hasn't been changed. But anyways, point being, I have new tires and um, well, they've got knobs all the way down the side of them and stuff and it's really a much better situation to be riding in these kinds of conditions. It's much, as they say, it is dirt worthy now. But we're going to sand, so we'll see if it's uh, sand worthy right now. Oh man, it is a gray day. It is a gray day. Is it a rule of moto vlogging? You just kind of you film on the nice days, so your footage looks all pretty. This, ah, this could be pretty to somebody, but man, it's uh, it's dirty. You guys want a confession? See all these marks? That was me. I've been here before today. Oh god. I was here earlier this morning just kind of checking out uh, what the sand is like. I had never rode on sand and I didn't want to do it uh, first time on film. This is crazy. Holy crap. I am gunning it right now. Also, I don't really know how to ride in sand. Are you supposed to go into second gear or something? I didn't. I thought you just rev, it, rev the crap out of it in first and you slide like heck. In between the trees? Yep. No campfires and no camping. Well, I am neither. I'm not a campfire. All right, let's ride the entire beach back. Wait, is that really bad for my tires? Yes, it is, but who cares? Whoa! Slide and slide and slide and. Oh! I want a rear view cam so you can see this. Next time, I'll do a beach vlog and I will get a rear view cam and you'll be able to see all the dirt I'm shooting out. It would also be really sick to go down to the water and like run, like drive through the spray. But, uh, well, it's like basically November, and if my bike fell in the freezing cold water, plus me, you know how that would go. This is a nice little back trail behind the beach. Lovely. Oh, just as I say, it's lovely. She's not lovely. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, I was gonna make this vlog exploring abandoned beach. Because there is no one there, which makes it abandoned, right? I'm not wrong. No one went back to the beach, making it abandoned. So, not clickbait. But, I don't even know. There's not really much to do there, unless I got some really cool cinematic shots with a friend of, like, drifting and crap. So, we're heading back now. Just doing some trail riding, because trail riding is fun. And let's take this way through. Whoa! <laughs> that was deep, much deeper than I assumed. And this is rockier than I assumed. And I'm complaining about everything. And instead of saying, wow, this is so fun. Because at my level of riding, this is, while it, while it is fun, it's also a lot of concentration, which is what makes it fun for me right now, is uh, you, what you don't realize is, oh, right through the middle. I weigh, about half of my bike. If I'm like 150 pounds, and this bike is 300, boom bang, I'm half this bike's weight. What does that mean? That when I'm on top of this bike, this our entire weight going down the trail, I'm a third of it. Which means that where I position myself on the bike is actually crucial to, how, to the bike's physics and how it performs. And I'm learning that as I'm riding, like, when you go up hills, you want to lean forwards because you don't want your bike to go backwards on you. When you go through mud, you want your butt to be, all your weight to be on the back of the seat. And most importantly, when you ride at all times, you do not have your weight on the handlebars. Your weight should be carried throughout your legs and hips and upper body. You should just carry yourself, your own weight on your bike, not on the bars. Because then if you hit something, some sort of rut in the road, your bars will go sideways. You have a little more, you just have more control. It's just, trust me on this one. It may sound weird, but um, if you carry your weight 
through your upper body and legs. Let's let's take the deep. Oh, no stopping now. Good, 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 good. And that was it. That was the little beach pass. Pretty interesting, I suppose. Maybe not. And the rain held off, so good call, Adam. After this vlog, I'll probably check the weather. And uh, if the weather's nice, tomorrow I will stop riding in this crud. And I will go home and I will escape. I'll have to go back to reality because right now, you know what's fun about riding? Light, nothing in life matters. At this moment, right now, nothing in life matters. Nothing. Just me on my bike and riding around and talking to you guys, but nothing else, like no problems. And that's why I love, you know, single sports, stuff like water sports and ATVing, dirt biking, that, that takes a challenge, so that's cool, and snowmobiling, of course. And then um, water sports like wakeboarding and kneeboarding, and then snowboarding and boards and engines, guys. I'm actually so surprised that growing up I never picked up a skateboard. Never did. Anyways, I suppose that's why I love riding. And I suppose that's why a lot of people love it, is just you, you escape reality for that short moment that you're riding. Nothing else matters. Especially riding like that. Like when you're in traffic, other people's lives matter. When you're on a trail all by yourself, these roads are actually so twisty though, it's crazy. I'm heading back to my cottage now, but we're gonna take the long way. Cause it's gonna be much more fun, I think. See, we could turn right here. Or, 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 said the seal. We could go this way, which would be hella fun. Visor up. I thought it stopped raining, but it turns out my visor was just down. It is raining. This is a little, uh, a little trail that we actually own. Well, technically, we own the little piece of property of every entrance to this whole trail system, which basically means you can't get onto it without trespassing, which basically means by purchasing the entrance to them all, it's yours. Otherwise, it's like, how'd you get on this trail? And if they got on some other way, then they're fine. But basically why I'm saying this is because all those trails were like no ATVs and no, or no dirt bikes allowed. There is no sign here that says no dirt bikes allowed. But yeah, I always thought uh, I'd love to live up here or just somewhere like this, but I've never tried it, you know, and I don't know how long it would take before it gets old. It certainly never has gotten old to me, especially with high-speed internet. That, that changes things. Once you have high-speed internet, and I'm not too good at French. Oh no! No way. Is there a way to get around this, do you suppose? Here's another problem about trails that aren't, that are yours, is you have to maintain them. So a big tree falls in storm, I am the one, well, probably gonna be my dad, let's be honest, but we are the ones in charge of cutting that up and getting it off the trail. And until we do, no extra riding for you. All right, let's head home. I got to uh, take apart the trampoline today. We got a new trampoline this summer and every year we get trampolines and we don't, we get the spring free ones and then the nets are really hard to take apart, like the bouncy bit. So we just kind of leave it with like three feet of snow on it all winter. And as you'd have guessed, that really ruins the bounce. But this year we have this new company, forget what they're called, but a new volley, volley, volley. And uh, their trampolines, the way their net hooks up is genius. So we can take apart the bouncy part really, really easily. Which is great, of course. Because it means that the trampoline will be bouncy to the end of time. I wish I could ask you guys in person live right now. Because there will probably there isn't enough time by the time you see this. But I also have a quad, right? So maybe I put on my motovlogging gear and we vlog with the quad. 
because I have never done that. And that, I could do much more technical trails because I'm much better on it. It's like a racing quad, right? Just like this with the clutch and all that. Uh, but there we go. We are going home now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I love... Man, this is the first time I got my bike up here, and it is fun. I'll, I'm going to get so good at ride, trail riding so fast. Like, my progression will be crazy. So thumbs up if you want to see more, because I am very eager. And with that said, it's time for me to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know what to do. You're awesome. As always, this was Adam, signing off.